This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Governor Walker, he's going to go on with uh, Greta. And this is precious. Let's go to clip three. I think the clear thing is anybody who's looked at the transcript realized I said the same thing on the call to him that I say every day. Uh, how about this one about uh, where Kokosain is accused of uh, some, uh, fan, or he's, he's quoted some profanity, the fake Coke, and it says, we uh, sent Andrew Breitbart down there. And you go, yeah. Look, yeah, I don't even know who that is. Do you know who that is? I do not. Never I have never, heard of him. I've never met the Koch brothers before. This is obviously why someone calling could prank me on it because I've never talked to him before. I know he's an employer in the state. And in the end, I mean, I think it's interesting because the crank, uh, the prankster there uh, tried to insinuate at least that this person was going to push for people to come in and cause a disturbance amongst the protesters. I made it very clear that that's not right. That's not, that doesn't work. That adds no well, value. Well, you said you thought about it. Well, we did. Actually, actually we in the did. transcript, had... when you brought up the part about the basic dirty tricks in the crowd, you said, well, he says, you, at least your quote is saying, you know, well, the only problem with that, because we thought about that, the problem that my only gut reaction to that is right now the lawmakers, I've talked to have just completely had it with them. The public is not really fond of this. Right, because in the end, the protesters have not overwhelmed them. They realize they've come in from other states. But you thought about it. We did. We had people contact. I'd had people, I even had lawmakers and others suggesting riling things up. Okay, so he admits, yeah, I thought about riling things up. I think the guy said, hey, you want to send in thugs? And he said, I thought about it. Greta asked him. And he says, yeah, yeah, I thought about it. Okay. And then I love the disingenuous... Andrew Breitbart, who's that? Maybe he doesn't know Andrew Breitbart. He's a you know right wing blogger, fairly prominent in their circles, but maybe he doesn't know him. Although I'd be surprised because this guy's a savvy politician, governor. He doesn't know who one of the most prominent right wing bloggers are. But all right, let's give him that. He says he's never met the Koch brothers. Oh, I love that excuse. You don't know who the Koch brothers are? They gave a million dollars to the Republican Governors Association, which then got at least some of that got funneled to you because the Republican Governors Association spent $3.4 million in a campaign against your opponent, right? And the Koch brothers directly gave you $43,000. You don't know who they are? Of course, if you notice his lawyerly response, he didn't say he doesn't know who the Koch brothers are. He said, I never met the Koch brothers. So he doesn't, he never met them in person before. Has he taken their orders before? Of course. Has he taken their money before? Of course. Does he know who they are? Of course. But the way he phrased it, it seems like Koch brothers. What name so? Never heard of them. Really? Then why'd you take a 20-minute call from a guy you thought was the Koch brother? A 20-minute call? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't know who they are. These politicians, man, they're unbelievable. All right, let's continue with Walker. Next clip. All right, uh, Koch says, beautiful, beautiful. You got to love and makes a reference to a, another anchor at another network and says she's a real piece of ass. Walker, that's you. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, what is he talking about? He's talking about MSNBC. Uh, I said in the end, you know, it's one of those the where I'll go on. piece of ass is probably, I mean, probably don't like to get hear, heard referring to an, an anchor as a piece of ass, I imagine. Oh, yeah. I mean, you didn't say that, but you did say, oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, like, oh, yeah, what is he talking about? He's talking about MSNBC. I said I go on any network out there to make our case about what's going on here. Um, Coke is quoted to say, well, I tell you what, Scott, once you crush these bastards, I'll fly you out to Cali and really show you a good time. Walker, all right, that would be outstanding. And then the suggestion it might be a... For us, the bottom line is I've never met the guy before. I don't even know where he's talking about in terms of that place. <laughs> he says, I'll take you out to Cali. And he said, in the call, Walker says, that would be outstanding. Now that he's on television, he's like, I never met the guy. What, Cali, where's that? Come on, Walker. Come on, man. Try a little harder than that. And then she says, well, look, you said it was somebody on MSNBC. He was a hot piece of ass. I don't know. He was on Morning Joe. So who were they referring to? There's one female host there. And now he says, oh, well, me? You said, yeah, I meant no. <laughs> no, you meant yeah. Look, it's okay to say, look, I'm going along with a guy. Uh, you know, the reality is Walker, it's his donor, right? I'm, I don't even blame him that much for like saying, yeah, or great or whatever, because He's trying to please his donor. But, of course, he can't say that on TV, right? He's got to pretend like, oh, Koch brothers, what, huh, what? Look, dude, if I called you for 20 minutes, Walker, would you take the call? You don't know me? Of course you wouldn't. You took the call because you know that's a really important guy, and that's why you spent all that time going, oh, yeah, yeah, she's a hot piece of ass. Hey, oh, if we could went out to California, we'd be partying, it'd be awesome. 
God, keep it real, man. But he's a politician. Of course, he's not going to keep it real. One more. Do you know who the Koch brothers are? Oh, I'm aware of them very okay. much so in the last couple of weeks. Have they, have they funded you at all at any point in your campaigns? Uh, from what I read, uh, they were one of the multitudes. We had one of the largest spending campaigns uh, in state history, about $11 million. Uh, as to what they've given exactly, uh, that part I don't know. Any, any estimate how much? Uh, again, I don't know. Never I, met them? Uh, I have not. Walker, please. You don't know who the Koch brothers are. I, de I keep saying it. So you took their call when you don't know who they are. You don't know they gave you $43,000. You don't know they funneled a million dollars into the Republican Governors Association. You're a politician who, those politicians, they care about every dime, man. They got a list of people they call over and over again to raise that money. It's a hell of a thing to do. It's a tough thing to do, right? And, and, and they know exactly how much people have given them. Now for him to pretend that he doesn't really know who the Koch brothers are, that he didn't know them until a couple of weeks ago, what a joke you are. What a liar you are. I'm done with that guy. Come on. How clear was that? Give credit to Greta, though. Good questions. If you don't feel like reading a book and you want to listen to it, all you got to do is go to audible.com and you can download a book onto your iPod or MP3 player. In fact, just the other day, I was listening to 1984, my favorite book. And they have over 75,000 titles to choose from. So you can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT.